back to the channel everyone it's finally that time of the week it is zer time and he can be found on the edz and what you want to do is spawn in on the winding cove and you can just follow the video if you don't know the location of him now i'm going to go over his exotic loot and the different roles that he has So for this week he has the Graviton Lance, which I mean everybody should have this, it is a great gun, and for the Hunters, the Celestial Nighthawk, another must have for the Hunters, and the Dune Marchers for the Titan, and the Sanguine Alchemy chest piece for the Warlock. Now let's take a look at the Graviton Lance, it comes with Fitted Stock, Cosmology, Actualized Rounds, Hammer Forge Rifling, and the special perk, Black Hole. Second shot of a burst rips a hole through space-time, doing high damage and recoil with no falloff. Now taking a look at the Celestial Nighthawk. Now it's coming with Sniper Rifle Reserves, Machine Gun Reserves, Fusion Rifle Targeting, and Cannon Targeting. Hands on, and of course, restorative mod and plastol reinforcement mod, and of course, the special perk Hawkeye Hack modifies golden gun to fire a single high damage shot. Enemies eliminated by this shot explode and grant you super energy. And taking a look at the Dune Marchers, we got Scout Rifle Scavenger, Special Ammo Finder, Fusion Rifle Dexterity. Hand can dexterity outreach and restorative mod and mobile enhancement mod and of course a special perk linear actuators increase sprint speed sprinting builds up a static charge after melee attacking an enemy that charge will chain damage to nearby enemies and last but not least the sanguine alchemy for the warlock coming with scout rifle reserves Special Ammo Finder, Unflinching Bow Aim, Unflinching Fusion Rifle Aim, Unflinching Kinetic Aim, and then Restorative Mod and Mobility. Then the Special Perk, Heightened Senses. Standing in a Rift grants you and your allies Heightened Sense, allowing you to retain radar while aiming down sights. Additionally, nearby powerful enemies are visibly marked and can be tracked without line of sight. And of course, guys, he's always going to have his Faded Engram and his Five of Swords. Now, to my knowledge, his Faded Engram is still only dropping Year 1 Exotics, although there have been some reports coming in of people getting a Year 2. Best of luck to you guys. That's all I have for you. Hope this video helps you out. If it did, go ahead and give it a like. Newcomer to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button for some more D2 content like this coming out daily.